How are we all? Good to see you here. Thank you for joining me live in the Zoom room and also on Facebook. Let's see who is here. Welcome. Hi, Brent. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Elena. Welcome, welcome. Many people will be finding us at this moment in time. Oh, we'd love to hear how you are, what's been happening, all the insights, all the manifest manifesting. Good morning, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you in the world you are. Tuning in from today. Today, we are diving into what this all looks like in real life. And if you have any questions about wealth energetics, then and creating your limitless wealth, then do pop them in the Facebook group, pop them in the um, comment section ben beneath this video. I'll circle back and answer them if um, you know I haven't spoken to them on the on the time to time together today. And of course, if you're with me in the Zoom room, pop them in the in the chat, and I will I will pick them up. So we're going to be diving into case studies so that you can see how our clients have expanded their wealth consciousness and had their breakthrough and, and what this looks like in real life because it looks so different for for everybody um and i'm going to share some of the case studies from our clients in one of our programs called the wealth portal which is where we um, take you through our helix method methodology focused specifically around wealth and as a Helix Method mentor, when you step into Helix Method Mastery, you receive access to this program. You're able to come and join in. So you have your own transformation and then you can offer this in your own businesses as well. So super excited to, to share all this with you. And I know that you're going to be really inspired by our oh, incredible clients. I love shining the spotlight on them. So this is this is very exciting. Alrighty. And what we're going to do as well is we're going to be um, I'll share the prize winners for our draw. So we're drawing for um, I've called this the go giver draw where everyone has been sharing and inviting their friends and colleagues or sharing on social media, all those things. We've popped your name into the draw, spun the wheel. And so I'll reveal who has won at the end of our time together. And then for everyone who um completed the survey we popped your name into the drawer as well so that you can also win a private session with me Alrighty, so let's take a moment to become fully present i'm inviting you to just to give yourself a couple of letting go breaths land in this space now and just to consider what was your intention at the beginning of our masterclass? today is officially our last day together so I would love to know what have you allowed yourself to receive? What is your what was your intention for our time together and what have you allowed yourself to receive? Let me know in the comments. Have you allowed yourself to fully receive all that you intended? Okay, acknowledgements course. Awesome. And on a scale of one to 10, how expansive and aligned are you to manifesting and creating your desired revenue over the next 30 days, over the next quarter, over the next year? Are you feeling a 10 out of 10? Are you feeling like I need a little bit more? Hooray, Jill, that's amazing. I've been opening myself up to expand into manifesting money more. I think about it differently now. Yes. Awesome. Okay. This is so exciting. So to recap on what we've covered so far, so I've shared with you your path to break through the steps to focus on for mastering wealth energetics so you can have the breakthrough and then hold the transformation. Remember, break, it's not just about the breakthrough. <laughs> because uh, we could be in the breakthrough forever. We want to break through and then go beyond the breakthrough and hold the transformation. Otherwise, we're going to get pulled back. I've taught you how you can heal the resonance rift between your higher self, your conscious mind and your subconscious, creating a new default set point with deep inner healing where you're able to, to do that across all layers of your human Wi-Fi and your levels of consciousness and your body and your, so that you have impactful, impactful results. 
and how by creating the consciousness of your future self through creating and imprinting a new identity, new, new self-concepts, new beliefs, new emotions that all raise your frequency so that you've, you've changed the channel so to the ideas that you're receiving and receive ideas and synchronicities from your future self so that you can then implement strategies that you're in alignment with. And this is where we heal the strategic dissonance so that we're taking aligned action and it's actually going to have that impactful results that we desire. And what we've dived into, so just to recap about these hidden energetic blocks, because these are, when we can fully understand these and how to heal them and to work with them for the rest of our lives, because they are part of our uh, makeup in terms of how the consciousness is um, and our bodies work together to be able to keep us safe and to keep the things the same, same. So this is really, really key to be able to, to continue our growth, to start to see, you know, we've got these visions now from this current consciousness, but our soul's got a higher vision for us already. So we um, have an opportunity to expand our vision, to desire beyond that original desire, to allow ourselves to actually go further, to become the person that we have the potential to be. We don't even know who that person is yet because we're on this journey and there's always more beyond our current vision and what we can see from this current identity. And so this is where, when we can um, heal that resonance rift. So our relationship with wealth is it's multidimensional on all levels of consciousness, including how we feel about ourselves. And as we've been talking about this week, how we feel about sales and holding money and our soul knows that we're worthy. We are divine multidimensional beings and it's our conscious mind and the subconscious that picks up that programming. And that's where we have that resonance rift. So this is where we all have we all have desires and urges to keep us growing to that next level. <clears throat> and so I invite you to remember that this is the whisper of your soul calling you. And when all levels of consciousness are aligned and the deep in a healing work of the, the nervous system, the energetic buffering and the future identity are embodied, you're able to receive more, able to relax and be, and to have fun co-creating with the universe and creating and making and circulating more money and, and holding more money, of course, as well. Then we have the somatic default set point. So we all have physiological, psychological, and energetic default set points across all aspects of our identity. So this includes health, wealth, love, all aspects of our identity, our self-image, self-worth, deservingness, emotions, and in all aspects of life. And the neural pathways act as internal reference points that create the glass ceilings. They stop us from increasing our client base, stop us from making more sales, manifesting more money. And this is so key, allowing more fun and joy and, and all those things, being able to really allow ourselves to enjoy the spaciousness that comes from when we are in that space of overflow. And our current identity, we create reality through our identity. So our identity then becomes the block as we've been talking about this week and talking about it specifically in relation to sales and, and holding money when we are trying to create a new reality with our current identity. This is where identity work is, is so key so that we can have the results that we desire by creating the identity of our future version of ourselves and our relationship with money and our identity as a CEO and managing money are the big ones that can show up at every stage of the of the game whether you're you know whether you're transitioning from corporate to being an entrepreneur the CEO of your business to your first six figures to multi six figures to seven figures when you heal your relationship with money and embody the identity of being an excellent steward of money you feel worthy and deserving of holding more money effortlessly and you see this directly impact your business. And this is all tied in with our nervous system and how our nervous system has the capacity to expand and it will have a, a cap on what it will allow in before our flight, fright, freeze, flop responses are, are triggered. I was speaking with a client the other day. She said, I'm so tired. I'm literally like, and I said, you, you, your nervous system's been triggered. You, you've collapsed. 
So we need to now expand that capacity because you're not embodied in the identity that you need to be able to take this business to that next level. So that's the piece we need to focus on. So the nervous system isn't collapsing and trying to make shut down and make you go and do something else, go to sleep, go and eat cake, ice cream, whatever it may be. <laughs> Just don't do the thing that you were about to do that's going to take you through to the, the next level. And so when our nervous system is, is is triggered, then we revert back to our our default set points and that, that consciousness. So we have to increase our capacity. And we do that by healing the hidden emotions, the beliefs, the traumas, the, the memories, the experiences that so that we can then let those go and we calibrate to a new level of alignment for success. That makes sense. And we've dived in deep and started to really understand about energetic buffering this week. So when we heal and clear our energy field of reverse energies, energy reversals, resistant energies, that's where we create more coherence and our energy does the heavy lifting for us. More of our energy is in flow and we have less resistance and less hidden reverse energy that's all impacting our vibrational signal. And truly things then start to get easier and easier and easier. And then the last one, this is where when we are strategic dissonance, so this is where we're out of alignment with the strategies that we're applying in our business. And when we raise our frequency to our future self-consciousness and follow the intuitive guidance of our higher self, even if it doesn't make sense, and take the aligned action, alongside, of course, developing our skills in being a CEO for our company, then our implementation is just so much more effective. So let's see if we've got some questions here. We'll dive into those and get everybody on the their right path. Alrighty. Hello, Christina. Okay, I'm just having a little scan, looking for questions. I'm just scanning Facebook first. Okay. They're coming to the Zoom room. I can see lots of comments here. Hi, Lisa. Alrighty. What have we got? Hey, welcome, Debbie. Doreen is saying, I have that strange feeling inside where I energetically feel worthy, wealthy, and fulfilled, but I still, I didn't feel it through client sales, money, and other material. Is it okay, or how long will it take? Alrighty, so okay, so are you saying you're feeling that alignment? You're feeling like, yes, I feel worthy, I feel wealthy, I feel fulfilled. Where are the clients? <laughs> Where are the sales? Where's the money? Is that what's coming up for you, uh, Darina? Where is my manifesting? Okay, <laughs> and this could be it, kind of. It's like it needs to be here already. And the gift is, we need to hold that frequency. So I'm going to invite you to consider. Okay, so. If we're in that space of, I'm aligned, it's not here yet, there may well be something hiding in your energy field that is just creating that, slowing things down. So the key piece to, to do is to be helixing every day so that you are really amplifying that frequency. And within that, I would really focus on um, around your self-concepts, around having that faith and certainty that it is already so. One of the things that I think can be really helpful to lean into is the universe is never late. And that could be a great kind of brain tattoo to be like, the universe is never late. This is all good. I've just seen Debbie's one. She said her breakthrough. Yay, agency contacted you earlier regarding your job that make it permanent. Congratulations. Awesome. All righty, so manifestations are coming in. So, Darina, use that. You've seen Debbie's ones come through. So we're going to see the success that everyone's having. That's why it's so important to share it. Share your daily wins because someone else needs that validation that it's working. And to be able to, yeah, the universe is never late, but that's, but that's I am who makes it hurry. Exactly. So... We want to be in that space of it's working, it's working, the universe is never late. And I and being able to hold that energetic frequency so you are an energetic match. Now I've not worked with you personally, so I know that when I if I work with you, I find the thing if there's something in the way that is is slow slowing it down. I know that. So often people will be like, I'm completely aligned, and then I'll come in with a question and we find the thing. 
because of course our blind spots remember subconscious wants to have a hundred percent success rate so you ha if you haven't fully embodied the future self identity then subconscious is going to be masterfully just creating some scenarios and opportunities to keep in alignment with its current programming it does that to keep us safe it is our friend so it's going to be really key to really work on your identity to be able to be in that space of having that full embodiment of your future self-consciousness so in the meantime to so helix things so that you're um, creating that alignment every day really amplifying your 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 frequency and being in the space of recognizing, okay, so where is where is the aspects that you can take action on to be able to make this inevitable? So are you following through on the ideas that your higher self is giving you when you're living in the energy of the question? How are you following your intuition? So often people particularly if they've not done that, sort of energetic works before, may uh, sometimes feel like they can't hear their higher self voice. Um, and how do they know that it's their higher self and, and all that kind of stuff? But what I would say is that is when you've activated this and the higher self voice is softer than the ego mind and it has that gentleness um, about it, that's the voice that you're listening to. So it's really around this, gift of working in this way is amplifying your relationship with yourself and trust that's the practice then debbie is to be in that space of really following through on this work doing this every day so that you can really allow yourself to start to listen to that soft whisper lots of deja vu <laughs> Alrighty, so that's the key piece is we want to really be embodying in the, the future self, the your current identity. Um, and there's a number of these um, self-concepts that you can start to, to program in. And that's what I cover in, in, in the Wealth Portal and all our Helix Method programs is this is where we do this deep work around clearing the resonance rift, the somatic default set points, raising them so that you're calibrating to higher, creating the identity, whether it is around wealth, health or um, love so that you have that embodiment of your future self right here right now anywhere that we're kind of wanting to hurry it along there's that energy of push and of course if we're trying to push things to push it along we're actually pushing it away energetically does that make sense so we have to really be like it's going to be okay all's going to be okay the clients are there they're just waiting to come in are you going to allow yourself to receive them do you need to implement some different strategies to go and find them? So often when I'm taking action, for example, running a masterclass here, so often I'll have people reaching out to me that haven't even been in here that then come and work with me. Because I'm taking action over here, serving, showing up, making my impact, helping people. So let's think of how can we, if we think about leading with love, whilst you're making this manifestation inevitable so that we're not trying to hurry the universe up, some things to think about is how can I lead with love in my business? What would love do? How can I show up and serve? How can I have complete faith that my clients are there, they're coming to me? Yeah. So how long has this been going on for Darina? So Darina is saying, just for those of you on Facebook that can't see the question, it's yes, that makes sense. I follow key actions, but still something does not change. So how long has this been going on for three months? Okay. So I would say that there's some energy reversals at play that you want to clear. So that you can make sure that you're aligned. And the other aspect I would ask you in relation to is how long have you been in business for? What's your goal? And what strategies are you implementing so we can see if there is any strategic dissonance in the playing up there? And I speak to that because that's one of the things that's why I brought in the um, business coaching side of things into the, the Helix Method Mastery is, is often I can see 
where people are implementing strategies and they just need to develop they also need to develop their skill set around implementing business strategies which is just why i wanted to to check in on that so we can see where which aspect of the energetics is is requiring your focus let me know if there's any other questions coming through and of course if there are and you're watching the replay then just pop them in the in the group and um we'll, we'll i'll circle back and answer them for you. So if you just give me the three bullet points, let's um, keep it succinct. So three three bullet points here, Darina, if that's okay. So how long have you been in business? What's the strategy that you're currently implementing? Thank you, lovely. I can help you there. And one of the things you could, everybody can muscle test on here now actually is around in relation to, if you were to say, I trust myself, do you get a yes or a no? I trust myself 100%. I back myself 100%. I trust the universe. Do you get a yes or a no? Let me know in the in the comments what you get for that. And as you're gathering your reflections on that, in a moment I will share my story and of course some of our clients' case studies as I just think we learn so much from witnessing people's journeys. Okay, so we've got some answers coming in around that your relationship with trust. And if there is anyone else having a business plateau for three months or more, then we really need to, to unpick what is going on energetically so that when you are implementing your strategies, that you are able to then allow your energetic vibration to do the heavy lifting. So it should be getting easier and easier. And so often what can happen is if there is a, a block, so Darina, see if this feels um, aligned for you, is actually maybe your higher self has been giving you some information in relation to the direction to go and you haven't been hearing it or following through on it. And I gave an example earlier, the speaker, one of my clients has got a huge mission that has just come through from her higher self. And is in that space of like, this feels bigger than me. And so often when that starts to happen, we can, because our identity is not in alignment with that next vision of ourselves, push it away, start to tell that we've got to get this and that and that and that done before we get there. Does that make sense? This is the most important thing that I think entrepreneurs can focus on because we've been I've been running my company for eight years now. We've helped over 10,000 entrepreneurs to break through their upper limits. And I've trained over, so over 75 coaches and healers now in our Helix method with the energy psychology or the Akashic records. And what I share and teach is how I've helped my clients have phenomenal results. My clients tell me all the time that the Helix method is, is rapid and powerful. It gives them confidence in what they can offer and that they can have 100% conviction and certainty that they can help their clients in this way as well. And many of our clients have um, already trained in a number of modalities, and then they step into the Helix method as they, you know, they love to learn and train and to enhance their skill sets. And what I teach in the Helix method is how I have expanded my consciousness, and I continue to expand my consciousness, how I break through my upper limits. I find upper limits all the time, of course. We're all going to find them. You know, this isn't, uh, I'm going to break through my upper limit and then that's it. I'm never going to have another one again because we have somatic default set points. So this is an ongoing life journey. We need to master this. This is absolutely essential. You know, when I look back at my, my own journey, of course, I've had the benefits of white privilege and growing up in a middle-class family. That said, within the primary school, I was bullied and I suffered emotional abuse within the home and I was sent away to boarding school, which felt like a relief on one hand and a massive rejection on the on the other hand. 
And for me and my little subconscious at that time protected me by creating patterns, set points, self-concepts to help me survive in what was often confusing. I often felt unwanted. School was frightening. Home could be frightening. And I brought all of those experiences and expectations and ways of being into my adult life. They showed up at different points along my journey as I self-medicated as a raver in my teens I chose a partner who developed a cocaine addiction, which then amplified his growing narcissistic tendencies and and emotional abuse. I then found myself as a single parent in my 20s, raising my two then young sons. They're adults now. And so my response to that as a, a young adult was I threw myself into working really, 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 really hard to create a standard of living for my young family. And it was, of course, a recipe for burnout and disconnection. And those experiences in my childhood still held in my energy field, creating more experiences in line line with those frequencies. This is why it is so important to do this work. And it wasn't until I threw myself into personal development for myself, rather than just trying to fix others, that I started to uncover my default patterns, hidden energetic blocks, and the root causes that were making up my identity. I'm a perpetual learner. I, you know, I studied trained I've learned everything I've got a degree in psychology I went and did a postgraduate in counseling after that got my part one of my MBA studied everything I can get my hands on in terms of energy psychology and the Kashuk records and it was when I started balancing the healing with the manifesting rituals that we now teach in the helix method that my business soared and I went from the first two years of business where I was cobbling together you know 5k months things feeling like they were really hard to more flow in the business to the 20, 30K plus months with more ease and now have that faith and certainty. Like I know I can create my own economy at any time that I choose. And the biggest thing is healing my relationship with my mother, healing the trauma from my childhood and, you know, early adult experiences. And I think the the biggest gift is my sons recognizing the difference within me and they love the Helix Method too. And what this has modeled for them in terms of our consciousness creating our realities and how empowering that is. My clients are getting faster and faster results. We've won awards for our work, which is incredible. And our company is an accredited training provider for the Helix Method as well. And truly, the more that I've gone on this journey, I've been embodying the confidence to step up as a leader in my field. And of course, there's always going to be more learnings and healings to go at every stage of our our game as we grow our business. I'm my own guinea pig as I uncover blind spots, try different techniques, share with my clients what works, always identifying new layers for, for growth. And as I expand my capacity to hold more, this is multi-led, of course, as we desire to hold more money, then we need to be able to hold more of everything, including responsibilities, more clients, more visibility. All these things are entwined in our relationship with money. So I'm excited to shine the spotlight on our clients so that you can see what this looks like. I'm just going to circle back to the <clears throat> question because I know Darina was typing something up. <clears throat> Excuse me. I started work for myself last year and I've been going through a lot of things. I mean it. And because I'm from post-Soviet country here, I want to have my first million. Awesome. And I've worked hard for seven months, but I've understood this vibration thing subconsciously only for the last four months and now for the last three months. And I feel like I've implemented this model, but still didn't get it. Okay. Welcome to the journey, Darina. Alrighty, so one of the things that I would um, muscle test and clear is the imprinting of not being allowed to have more money from the country perspective, so that cultural perspective. Does that resonate? So this can be deep where it's in our programming where our cells remember, even if we don't remember, experiences that our mother may have had when we were in utero that have imprinted into our body in relation to whether it's safe to receive whether she was going through any stress at that period of time um, that has been imprinted into our energy field and so there's going to be layers of um, 
healing that you can do as you're amplifying the, the 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 consciousness of your future self so that you're continuing to raise your frequency continuing to raise your frequency so this is phenomenal what you've achieved in, su in such little time and i'm excited to see what starts to unfold for you so i'd invite you to go back through listen to the replays again i know that they are disappearing actually at the end of today so I would invite you to listen to, to day two again so you can really start to feel that layer, that next layer that you'll start to see and hear things in a different way because you've already been through it. Does that make sense? And this is why beyond from today, I invite people to continue working with me because I know that this is going to start to create some momentum, but there's so much more that we can do so that you can collapse that timeline in relation to your results. But there will be, and we all have cultural and uh, societal programming in relation to whether we're allowed to have more money. And particularly if there are, we've come from places where, there we go. Yeah, so Doreen is saying, when you started to talk about it, I've started to feel something around my stomach and in my body. That's what I call your stress center. Yeah, absolutely. So your body's responding to it, saying this is where it's held. It's in your stomach. So I would be I'm ready to release this. How have you described that sensation in your stomach? When I think about post-Soviet programming, I release and delete this across all dimensions, planes, times, levels of consciousness. Do that a couple of times following our methodology. And then thinking about what is it you want to be in alignment with, thinking about, okay, so what is the consciousness of my future self is going to be able to, because of that experience that you've had, you're going to be able to trust yourself even more as you start to really be intentional with your consciousness. I hope that has helped. Let me know if anyone else has got any questions so I can speak to it for you. And thank you, Darina, for sharing. I do appreciate it. I oh, brought it to life for, for people. Hi, Chris. Hi, Lisa. Good morning. Good morning. Alrighty. Now let's dive into some of these case studies so you can start to be inspired and to let me know in the comments as well who's inspiring you, what's resonating, what may have landed um, sort of deeper, something that you had taken on board during our uh, time together. Alrighty. So, Tina is amazing, Tina Hull. Tina is an incredible Akashic Record consultant and health guide. She uh, stepped into the wealth portal and she said she'd been, you know, doing a lot, a lot of mindset work on the money, but never done anything around the energetics. And um, while she was in the wealth portal, she discovered some surprising subconscious resistances that she was able to release. And as a result, attracted more clients to her and it resulted in her tripling her income which was really really exciting she then jumped in and trained with me in the Akashic Records certification program so she could then offer Akashic Record readings to her clients and what stood out for me was Tina's deeper connection spiritually and amplified self-trust and confidence and of course then that just ripple effect resulted in more fulfillment and, and joy within her her business and what I reflected on uh, for, for Tina was for her was the key difference was focusing on the energetics and like so many people you know that first step mindset work I feel mindset works like that gateway door people go oh, I need to do some mindset work and then they realize there's more more available than just mindset work and she recognized that it was time to look at the, the energetics and like all my clients Tina discovered subconscious blocks that she was not aware of and you know we all have them and they're imprinted into our field until we do the healing and the identity work for the transformation and Tina was she was 100% committed she was like she was in <laughs> to finding the layers that were holding her back and it was it was through the the commitment and going deep that's where that transformation lies and Tina enjoyed tripling her income while she was in the program. It changed her life and it changed her idea of what was possible. And this is where healing the energetic buffers, it changes your energy, which changes your life. So I hope Tina's experience has in, inspired you in terms of thinking about, so notice as I shared that, what resonated for you. Because that's a clue for a direction for you. 
Okay, I want to share Joan. So Joan is another amazing coach. Joan shared that the results of working with Louisa have been miraculous. Before I was, these are these are her words, before I always was unconscious with fear and tightness as if my freaked out baby self was grabbing me to stop taking more risks. In a free one-to-one -one with her, that part of me completely calmed down. It was a sign to me that I should work with her at some point. Incredible results happened a month into doing her wealth portal, the day after I practiced the Helix Manifestation Ritual. The next day, our investment portfolio rocketed a 320k gain. The major shift had increased my decision-making ability so much. Decluttering is a breeze and effortless. What I got with that fearful part gone, what's revealed was a divine blueprint. I got downloads on the book I plan to write. The scope of reach and impact is beyond belief. Louisa has a loving, healing presence which makes a world of difference for me. Highly recommend working with her. So this is so exciting and it was such a joy to see Joan's healing healing journey. And my reflections for Joan was, well, Joan dived into the program, watched everything straight away. She binge watched <laughs> the Wealth Portal and uh, she was open to the methodology, practicing everything that I teach, diving into the energy healing, balancing, you know, changing her identity alongside the energy healing that meant her vibrational attraction point was raised rapidly and she used the framework that I teach and she adapted the the language so that it spoke to her subconscious. So she did it in a way that um, I always say this to my clients is if there's a word that I use that you wouldn't use that word, change it to a word that you would use so it speaks to your subconscious. And healing the somatic default set points and expanding your nervous system, this is absolutely key and was very relevant for, um, for, for Joan's journey. Let's see what's coming through here. Okay, we've got a question coming in, so I'll just uh, speak to this before we move on to the next one. Jill saying, how would you respond and worthy imprint that I need to release? Confusion between mum not opening herself to receive money and an energy of unworthiness not wanting money, more money and the opposite energy of my dad who lived his life lavishly and pursuing money at the cost of relationships. Yeah, do you know what, Jill? I would work on both separately because you're going to have both those imprinting. So this isn't a case about one imprint. This is this is deep work. You're going to need to 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 uncover the... the um, influence of your mother's uh, energy on you typically any fear that you'll be holding is in the left kidney and then from your right from your father's side uh, and the ancestral patterns there as well from your on your on your right kidney um, and so in terms of that I would be very specific around what's coming from your mum and what's coming from your dad does that make sense and so then thinking about well, what would be the aligned way forward for you in terms of having healed that where you've got that push bull because what can be coming up for is are you in the space of you would like to live your dad's life, let's say, for example, but there could be on a subconscious level uh, an element where you're feeling like actually you're betraying your mum if you do that. Don't want either. OK. So that's all good. So think about what it is that you want and then clear the uh, the releasing from your mum. So you're clearing anywhere you're holding the pattern from your mum about not opening yourself up to receive Clearing the energy of unworthiness, clearing the I want more money, no. So you remember to bring in the the um if you've muscle tested, I want more money and you've got a no, so that you're you're clearing that from your mum's side, and then clearing anywhere that you are believing if there is a belief from your father's side that actually if you pursue money, you're gonna it, it will be at the cost of relationships. So that would be a good one to muscle test on. Do I believe if I have more money, it will be at the cost of relationships? If yes, clear that. You're welcome, lovely. Alrighty. Keep those questions coming in. I'm here for it. Alrighty, let's, I want to share Laura's story with you because Laura is amazing. So Laura shared, um, let me share her words with you. So she said, my journey in the wealth portal has been life-changing. I came in when everything in my life was breaking down. And during that time, I felt like I'd lost everything. My healing journey had been huge and intense until then. And with, with my journey on creating my truest relationship with money, I actually changed my relationship to life. 
Louise's being method and container bought me a new puzzle piece of my inner resources that I didn't know I needed. As I'm seeing now, it was exactly what I needed for my inner and outer peace, ease, flow and bliss. So on my journey to heal my relationship with money and step into the joy of it, I healed all of my relationships in life, especially the most important one with myself. I came to realize who I truly am, being deeply loved and supported since the start of my life, blessed with all the love that is around me and now living in the most beautiful space that I call my home, now together with my husband and kids. Yeah, she manifested a new house, which was very cool. Uh, I now know that I am living my highest purpose already and I'm excited to experience what else is coming. So my reflections um, from Lorna's experience was, so Lorna manifested a, a new house for her and her family during this time. And we did have huge fun celebrating when it came in and were there to hold her during the most intimate part of her healing journey. And what I loved seeing was how healing your relationship with money, it impacts all aspects of life. And, and with Laura, we really did see it have a huge impact on her and her family and Laura was a brilliant client. She dove into all the modules, asked lots and lots of questions. I'm like, ask questions. You cannot ask too many questions. And so often someone else may ask a question that you didn't know that you had the question as well. And so then you're like, oh, yes, I do need to know that. So it really inspired, it sparks the conversation for, for everybody. And she was open to, you know, allowing herself to be supported and uh, allowing the breakthrough to, to come through. So the reflection I have is, allow the universe to surprise you with how the money is going to come to you don't make the universe wrong for it coming in a way that you might not have thought about it will be it for your highest good and it will be in alignment with your identity and so often as mums we'll focus on doing and giving things to our family members and and dads do this too of course and somehow we can suppress ourselves doing things for others and of course then we're modeling that for children so doing something for yourself, it is the greatest gift that you can give, not only for yourself, but of course for your family, because you're modeling that. And then we have, who else's story am I going to, to share with you? We have, let me share with you, share with you Joe's story. So Joe is a trainer for dyslexia and a, and a coach and had been spending a long time unpicking her money story and wanted to understand the science and to have manifesting structures in place to support herself finally having the the breakthrough and she had committed to diving into the wealth portal and it was in the April and to her surprise uh, when she had started the, the wealth portal she had had from that moment, consistent income in her in her business. And then she hit the dream milestone of the 10K month that she'd been aspiring to in, in July. And her journey was, she had so much resistance and a huge sense of perfectionism that really came through. She realized when she was pushing to achieve more in life. And this was actually creating a whole lot of uh, resistance and anxiety. I don't know if that resonates for anyone else. And she discovered some patterns that she was able to release and and learned to trust money more and to have certainty that it will it will always show up. So what she did was she let go of the push and the feeling of I've got to I've got to keep going I've got to keep going, and all the anxiety that came up with that and was in that space of really being able to trust herself more. And one of the things just to speak to was Joe actually never attended a live call with me. She watched all the replays. She posted questions in the Facebook group. I would do Loom videos to speak to them or demonstrate things for her. Um, and that was just because of time commitments and stuff. But it was brilliant because, you know, you don't need to be on the live live calls. Um, you can tune into the replays and it's like you're there live. Um, we've had many clients come in and do that going, I feel like I'm with you, you know, anyway, because there's just so much energy on the calls and on the, on the replays. Um, and whenever someone asks a question, I will just reply in the Facebook group or do a little loom video which is like private one-to-one -one coaching but in a video format for you you pop it in the group container um because of course there someone else may go oh, i've got that question too and then they can watch the video and they receive that extra coaching through hearing how i'm responding to to you so super powerful and we've got clients in Aust australia and other time zones that have also uh tuned in in this way um as well for me as i reflect back joe was really up for it after that initial resistance of perfectionism and of course it kicked in because she'd triggered that nervous system pinnacle and the default set point 
uh, to keep things the same. And so we put in a, pl a, a plan of, right, let's have dedicated hours each week where you're just going to have some me time, focus on this. So she, she chose Sunday. Sunday was her me time day. And she just really allowed herself to be fully supported by leaning in and asking questions in between the calls and, and all the things. And she just, as her frequency started to raise, she started to have that feeling of certainty. She knew she was going to hit that 10K month that she could just feel it in her body. She smashed it out of the park in July. And this is really important. She gave herself the, the month of August off because she's a mum to four kids. And she didn't want to sacrifice, you know, her financial goals for her, her mum goals. And I think that's a, a, a real a key part that we honour all aspects of ourselves as we're growing our growing our businesses. Let's see. Oh, that's awesome. Leander saying, since joining this with you, Louise, I've released that perfection of my anxiety and really enjoying it. that exercise and trust for myself and the universe and my business. Thank you for that. You are welcome. It's so exciting. Oh, okay. So you'd like financial security your father has. Always felt safe being with my father. Don't feel safe in the relationship we're in. Oh, okay. I'm sorry to hear that. So what do, would it take for you to feel safe in the relationship that you're in? What are the key aspects? If you start to think of three actions that you need to take to change so that you can start to feel safe, that is immediately going to start to make a, make a big impact um, for you, Debbie. All righty. Any other questions? I hope that these stories of our clients, there's so many more. I was just kind of picking picking some um, for you to, to share with you to, to shine the spotlight on. Um, but would love to know if you, as you contemplate that, what has resonated for you as you reflect on these entrepreneurs' experiences? What's been the, the, the big thing for you in terms of thinking about your next steps? We, we dived into the wealth activation strategy yesterday so you can start to think about what is your next step in terms of really allowing yourself to become the person that you have the potential to be, to be the coach that you have the potential to be? Those of you that are coaches here, because we have a lot of coaches in our community, because of course I teach and certify in the Helix Method. So, this is my greatest joy to help coaches have the kind of results that our clients have through their businesses to be able to contribute to you in this way. And this is now the time to, to contemplate in terms of your next steps. would love to have you continue with us. I do want to help more coaches and healers have the exponential success with their, with their clients and, and growth in their business. And that is what we are up to in the Helix Method Mastery. So we have our doors are open right now. You've got a special masterclass saving. Um, it actually expires tonight at, at midnight in the UK time. I would love to have you with us for, for Helix Method Mastery. This is a world-class energy psychology training for intuitive coaches who are looking for those unparalleled results with their clients where they will learn how to create deeper, rapid transformation with proven proprietary frameworks and results-driven energy coaching programs with resale rights. So you can deliver these programs to your clients and generate income with your in your own practice within 60 days or less. So just inviting you just to take a moment to imagine what that will all look like in your business as you have that reputation for results growing. People will be referring people to you. You'll enjoy more success, freedom and confidence. And it is such a joy seeing your clients have these rapid results. And I have created, carefully created after eight years of seeing how my business has grown, seeing what my clients are needing, seeing what will really make a difference for, for people who are, are training in this methodology is giving you a business in a box that you can take everything I'm giving you in the Helix Method to your clients, providing you with additional revenue streams. Plus, we have these incredible bonuses so that you're able to learn from the business coaching that I can give you. So what you have in your hands has the potential for you to create multi-six figures repeatedly over, over your lifetime. So I'll pop the, the link um, in, the, in the comments for you. Um, for those of you that are I want to learn, want to learn more, let me know if you're looking to learn more about the Helix method. If you need to jump on a quick call today, um, then just message me and we can um, make that happen. 
There we go. Let's see. I'll pop the, the link for the Helix method in the chat here for you as well. Who? I can type. <laughs> there we go for you. Perfect. Fantastic. This is for you if you know that there is always a, a new level of learning and transformation and you are you are committed to amplifying your intuition and consciousness and you want to help your clients master energetics and reality creation and be a leader in expanding consciousness and energy alignment. You know, truly the time is now. People are seeking these kinds of results. They want to go deeper than the simple coaching models. My private practice is fully booked. People want this. They really do want this. And so this is such a joy for to be able to give people this way of working, this powerful way of working in your own, in your own practice. Awesome. So glad this is this has served you. So this is for you if you've got in terms of people lost and asked about the time commitment, it's just five hours a week to commit to enjoying the live experiences of our prosperity program. So you receive um, the, the wealth portal, the love codes, the, the body limited edition, you get to come in and join in those live as well as being trained in uh, Helix method. So you can have your own transformation. Like, are you really ready for this? Like to bend reality, to create results beyond what you thought was possible. And our live calls, so we don't start until the 19th of September. It will be at 1 p.m. UK time, which is 8 a.m. Eastern time and 7 p.m. in Thailand time, because I'm going to be in Thailand. And when you register, you get access to the private membership site straight away. So if you want to come and join it, you know, join in straight away, you can dive into the membership site. You can come and join in the private community, ask me questions straight away, straight out of the gate. And you have access to all the previous live experiences of the program. So you can start straight away and receive my support in the in the private community. And you get access to the business bonuses as well. So you can start applying these techniques and, and learnings to attract more clients to you right now. So this is our early bird for the for the Helix method now. And if if you do need an extended payment plan, then just reach out and we will do our best to accommodate you. But I just wanted to give you a, a recap on that because. I'm super excited to continue working with you and to support you on your on your journey. Alrighty, we have some prizes to give away. Alrighty, so let's do the winners of the prize draw. So we have the survey winner and what I'm calling the go giver winner. So this is for the everybody who has shared um on their social media or they invited friends and their friends were put, putting their names in we had some uh, a number of people that had uh lots of some repeated names being put in so thank you so much to everybody who had been leading with their go-giver energy and and sharing so let's reveal the winners so this is so there's two two winners one for the survey one for the go-giver and you've won a 45 minute session with me which the value of that is two thousand dollars so I'm so excited to share this with you. So are you ready? Dun, 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 dun. The winners are. Dun, dun, dun. So the survey winner is Pamela Bacalain. I hope I pronounced your name correctly. So congratulations, Pamela. And the winner of the Go Giver. So this is where everyone's name was going to the draw who had shared on social media or invited their friends is Rosemary, Rosemary Cunningham. Congratulations, Rosemary. I am so excited. So you both will be getting a one-to-one -one session with me, 45-minute session. Beautiful. Alrighty. So fantastic. And time will the replays be available until till tonight debbie they'll be available um uh, we accept uh we accept us dollars and british pounds at the moment so if you need some help with the conversion currency things then then let me know um the replays will be available till midnight uk time
but yeah, D D Darina, I can have a chat with you um, if you are looking to, um, I know some countries have different ways or, or not have Stripe available and all that kind of stuff. So I can um, have a chat with you about that. Um, I, uh, clients pay via Revolut before. Um, so we can do it that way as well. So, so exciting. So any questions, please do just reach out um, and we can chat through um, and uh, answer your questions. So you can make an aligned decision either way. I have got lots of energetic alignment audits booked in for this afternoon. So I'm so excited to be chatting with you. I have one more surprise for you. So we are going to be back on Thursday. I have a bonus session for you. We're going to be diving into the energetics around receiving. So we're going to be breaking through more barriers, overcoming six energetic blocks to receiving. So pop that in your diaries and uh, I will see you there. And if you haven't yet, booked in your call then book your call with me and if you are wanting to explore working together and you're thinking but I don't think Helix Method Mastery is for me then just reach out and I can tell you about the different ways that we can work together um, and we can take it from there um, and other than that I will see you all on Thursday so this isn't goodbye this is yes yippee Thursday uh, we'll be back on Thursday for your bonus session uh, we're so excited to to be there and um, for um, just as we wrap up, just to remind everybody um, the Helix Method early bird special um, savings go away, disappear tonight. So um, do let me know if you are leaning in and would love to come and join us. We'd love to have you with us. This is going to absolutely change your life and change your client's life as well. And if you need an extended payment plan, then reach out to me and we will chat through so we can see if we can accommodate you there. Um, and otherwise, I will see you all on Thursday. Sending you all lots and lots of love. Take care. See you on Thursday. I'll leave the room open because I can see people grabbing links. So I'll leave the room open for a second whilst you do that.